If any of you guys have any questions about your entries, exits, stop loss, got hit, um, you know, you're losing trades, um, we want to go over that. Any questions, we want to do something real different, um, change it up a little bit from uh, your basic trainings. Um, we want to open up the floor for you guys. But um, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been uh, – I learned a little bit about Forex about uh, two years ago. I was trading binary options, and um, I really wanted to find – you know, I always knew, um, you know, I needed more more training. I needed a, a, a hands-on mentor, but I really, I was looking around and I was really finding that a, a lot of programs and a lot of other mentors, they were really overpriced, expensive, um, that I thought. But now I see the value because I know the power of Forex now. But before then, you know, programs, companies, uh, fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand to join, and I was like, shit, that's that's a lot of money for this. But I didn't know the power of Forex. Uh, it was later so I realized that I came across, um, you know, Dar Darwin, we, we, we've been in network marketing companies before, but, um, it was later I, I reached out to him and I saw him trading and I knew it was Forex. Um, and then he told me about IML and then, um, you know, sooner or later I hopped on and, um, ever since then is like Forex is, is really trading to something different, like different from the norm. Um, it's really a skill set that if you develop. Is literally could change your life. Like whenever you want to make money, you literally have that skill set. Um, but IML definitely took the turn for me. You know, I, I started studying the basics. You know, I stopped going out. Um, really, just being in my man cave, looking at the charts every day, really trying to figure this out. Really, really trying to understand what what forex is about. Trading again, that skill set. And um, ever since then, uh, it's changed my life. And I've been, you know, so blessed to have the opportunity to share this with you guys and be in a share with my family members, a friend, family, you know, whoever comes across that wants to learn that skill set. I always try to, you know, keep them open minded to this. Um, but for, for tonight, you know, for tonight, the floor is yours, guys. So we're just going to, you know, we're going to let you guys settle in and, um, you know, you guys have any questions. Uh, we're going to go over charts, chart markups, uh, entry losses, um, et cetera, and leave the floor for you guys. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So first thing we're going to do, okay, um, uh, let me just go back over to the screen real quick. First thing we're going to do, guys, what I'm going to do, all of you are traders on here, yes or no? Yes or yes? How many of you are trading? You, you partner up with IML, you open up your trading account. You don't have to unmute yourself. Just, you know, I can see you on the screen. Thumbs up is good. Perfect, perfect. I'm glad you did that. So the first person that just put his thumb up, Edwin, I'm coming after you. <laughs> I'm about to unmute you, okay? I'm going to unmute you. Edwin, this is what we're going to do. All we want to know is you're losing trades. We don't care how big the loss was. You're losing trades. Give us the entry. And the pair and the exit. We're gonna pull up the chart. We need to figure out why you lost the trade. Um, I mean, it'll be difficult for this week because I I only took one trade this week and it was a it was a winning trade. Um, I didn't have any losing trades this week. Nice, nice, nice. Well, Edwin, this week is your week. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this week. Thank you, Bob, thank you. <laughs> because. Trust me, if you got some losing trades, you're sharing your screen, you're going to show us what happened. And we're going to help you figure that out. Definitely. Right? That's what we're here for, man. Market recap. We're going to change the game. Palms. My man, Palms. What's going on, brother? so annoying. Talk to me. How was your trading this week? It was good. Oh, you had, you had a good trading week? Yeah, yeah, I had a good trading week. Oh, man. Oh, you mean to tell me nobody lost? That's, woo, I mean, that's a good thing. If <laughs> nobody lost, that's a real good thing. Um, okay, okay. Let's go with uh, Hector, before you fall asleep on me. Hector Adams Lopez. Talk to me, my brother. What's up, bro? Uh, I don't have, I I'm on my phone right now, but uh, I took a loss on an EU. Let's get it. Let's find out. Let's find out what happened. We're going to go to EU. You guys can see my screen. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I see your screen. All right, perfect. I was actually doing a market recap. Um, I'll show you guys how to do this later. If you have a losing trade, oh, no, 
Okay, if you have a losing trade, guys, you can replay it and figure out what happened. This is how I learned how to trade. You pick the pair, okay? Pick the pair you want. Pick the time in the date. Okay, pick the time in the date. And then you just hit start. Okay, you hit start. What's going to happen is you press play, it's going to play back the whole entire thing. Beautiful, beautiful. But anyway, let's go to EU. Let's go to EU real quick. Oh, man, guys, I've marked up so many charts for you guys this week. Wow. EU. Except for EU. To the left. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so give me your entry. Uh, it was... Where is it? Give me a second. All right, it was uh one one eight eight one zero. When did you enter it? Uh, that was the, at that price. No, when, when, when? What day? Oh, uh, it was yesterday. All right, one point one one. Uh huh. One one point one one eight eight one zero. Okay, nice. perfect. All right, guys, you see what I just did? Instead of trying to take my line down, boom. did you buy or sell? I I had a I had a buy and then I I got on profit I like I I got out on profit on that one and then well it was before it dropped and then I sold at that price I sold at that price. So you bought before news and then you sold after news. Okay. Okay. So this is this is his entry, right? Oh my goodness! Come on, my brother. Are you kidding me? It's right in front of your face. You got an inverted head and shoulder. Hey, he probably had entered. Um. What did you, you did you buy or sell? Oh, he, somebody said they can't see my screen. One second, let me go back. Oh man! I um, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. And don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, man. We here to learn. The ball's yours. Listen, not everybody's perfect. It's a hundred. A lot of traders don't win every trade. Thank you. It's all about eliminating your losses. Uh, cutting your losses short. That's right. a fact. All right. Where? Where did, are you still with me? I think we lost them. Oh, no, nah, come on. We didn't scare him away. Come on, my man, come back. Because this trade right here, if if I would have saw I'm still it, with you. I'm still with you. I, I got muted. Oh, you got <laughs> my heck, yeah. heck what up, man? So you want to buy or sell? I had a sell right there. Oh, you had and a then, sell right here. Okay. Did you sell yeah. before news? Yeah, before I was in profit. And then after that, my stop loss got hit because it spiked up all crazy. All right. So this is... um. This is 3 a.m. right here. 3 a.m., the market dropped down at 3 a.m. Okay, it dropped down 19 pips. All right? right. 19 pips right there. Okay. Hector, I want to show you something. Okay? This is going to blow your mind. And for everyone that's on this call, 35 people that's on this call, follow the rules. Inverted head and shoulder. All right? Most of you guys, if you don't know what an inverted head and shoulder is, um, you know, I'll show you what an inverted head and shoulder is in a little bit, okay? But sometimes they will never give you an inverted head and shoulder so clear. Stevie Wonder can see this, okay? Now, if you can't see that this is an inver inverted head and shoulder, switch over to the line chart, okay? Yeah. When you switch over to the line chart, it eliminates the noise. And what do I mean by the noise? The noise are the wicks. Okay, because the wicks just tell you how far the market went. Okay, what what uh what uh, time frame are you on right now? Well, this is the one hour time frame, and that's the most recent. It looks a little different with mine. Well, you entered. Okay. Oh, so whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, he, no, yeah, he entered. Yeah, he was. Right. He was yeah, yeah. There oh, you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way. Yeah, yeah, I was like, wait, it looks different. <laughs> 
Hey, Hector, you, you still not gonna be you still not gonna be excused you from still this. Don't see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my man, they gave it to you again. Yeah. They <laughs> this is one of my favorite trading patterns. Okay. Inverted head and shoulders, head and shoulder patterns. Now, I I got a lot of um uh criticism for when I say this. Okay. When I say this to people. I say, you know, you, you've heard of the Elliott wave, right? Right. Okay. When I say this, I got most traders that come out and say, Oren, why are you telling people that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, let me show you something, and it's going to make sense. Okay? Now, when I look at the Elliott wave, okay, when I look at the Elliott wave, I see this. Market goes up. Market comes down. Market goes up. Market comes down, but not all the way down. Then the market does something like this. It comes back down like this. And it move up like this. But before this side happened, the market did this. The market did this. And it went back this way. Okay. Hey, Christian, can you do me a favor? If, if someone have questions in the chat, if you can just manage the chat for me real quick. Gotcha. Hey, does the... Uh is your chart on, on June? Is it on June or what month is that? Uh, that is yo. Why yeah, month? get um, click, yeah, get to the most recent one. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, because I'm yeah, I'm so little, yeah. All right, so but I'm I'm gonna clear this real quick though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go so for it. yeah, yeah. Keep going. When you look at this right here, okay, this is the beginning stage of an inverted head and shoulder. Okay, this is the beginning stage of an inverted head and shoulder. This is coming down, creating a left shoulder, right? Then the market right. comes down and bring the head by itself, okay? Then what you're going to see is the beginning stages of the right shoulder. This is nothing but the first wave of the Elliott wave, which is built inside of this entire pattern. Right. Elliott wave, double bottom, double tops, inverted head and shoulders. Um, they're all basically the same within the same pattern. Sometimes we don't see it because we have all of this noise. If we eliminate the noise, guess what? Now you're going to start to see these little waves. You're going to start to see the inverted head and shoulders. You're going to start to see the double bottoms. Okay? These are things you don't see when you have the noise. So let's go over to the most current chart. All right, so this is where you were, right? Yeah, right yeah. there on the bottom. You see that wick? That wick is probably what got Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, let me see. But that's still not your price, though. No, he got in at one one eighteen eight one eight zero one eight eight. Here, let me give you the price again. It's a uh, one eighteen one zero. You got it yeah, lower, you go. lower than that. Yeah, see, I, I still have it marked up. It's over here. That's why I'm on this side. But no, but why? Why is it there? Why is it, I don't know why. This is euro, right? EU, yeah. yeah, on my, I, I have it on mine. Um, it, it's because you got you got one eleven, eight mark. It's one eighteen. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. One eighteen. There we go. All right, so one point eighteen. Uh huh. One zero. One zero. No eight eight one zero. Sorry. All right. One point eighteen eight, eight one zero. There we go. I was about to say. There we go. Now we talking. Yeah. Sorry about that that delay, guys. All right, so um, you're in the cell right here. Huh. Oof. Okay. No, to the left. To the left. To the, yeah, on the left. He got into the cell on the left. All right. Yeah. On this more, side. More, more, no, more, more to the left. Probably click on the one hour. Yeah. 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 One hour. You're on the four. Okay. okay yeah. That wick. That Ooh. wick. Was yeah. Got you. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then and then, and then it just shot up. Okay. So you got faked out with this wick right here. Yeah. Okay. I sh I I I should have moved my stop loss into profit at least like a couple okay. of Yep. Eight o'clock in the morning. News just came out. Yep. Mm -hmm. News just came out. So in order for me to determine what happened here, okay, now what I have to do is I gotta go to a high time frame because I can't see what's over here. I got to go right. to the high time frame to see what's going on. Okay, oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I see it. I see it. 
So what I would have done in this situation, okay, now it's time to bring out the magic tool. And you know I love those fibs. It's time to bring out the magic tool. Okay, so notice right here, this is what we know as a demand zone, okay? In order for me to determine what happened here, I need to go back on this side because I don't just trade from right here, okay? Right. So we got a demand zone. How can we tell a supp uh, supply and demand zone? Okay, a large candle leaving a zone. So you see this right here? This is a large candle. This is a demand zone. Boom, the market goes up, okay? When the market comes back down to a demand zone, it's not gonna come all the way back down to this demand zone, okay? Price was super low right here. So the market shot all the way up, okay? So yeah. another, another way I like to uh, do my demand zone is like this. All right, I like to find the, um, because before breakout on the demand, I'm gonna have consolidation, okay? So it's gonna be a rise, remember this, this rule when finding the supply and demand. Rise, base, rally, okay? A rise, base, rally. So the market did a rise, created a base, okay? The base is nothing but consolidation, and then we had a rally. So this is going to be your demand zone. Demand leaves from the bottom. Supply leaves from the top. Okay? So we're just going to put this here. And this is how I build my charts up every single day. Okay? I just don't trade off of emotion and say, oh, look, the market is rising. Let me jump in. Never chase the market. Let the market come to you. So now we created our demand zone. We buy in this zone. Perfect. So next thing I'm going to do is because the move started from here this is the origin of the move okay we could have chose this part as the origin of the move but that move ended with this pivot and the market came down you follow me okay so right here we had the market shoot up pivot and it came down so here we created another zone so now we draw a fib from this zone here all the way up to the high Okay, all the way up to the high. So now, what I'm looking for when this market comes back down, what I'm looking for is the market to come into either one of my red zones. Chris, bring it down just a little bit. All right, looking for the market to come to either one of my red zones, 382, 50, or 618. Okay, 382, 50, or 618. Now, do you know, you know how Fibonacci works? Yeah. Okay. Chris, either you and Jose, you got to do it over there. I can hear both of you guys over here. Okay. So now, when that market came down to the 3.8, we had a reaction. That market broke the 3.8, came down to the 50, had a reaction. When it came down and broke the 6.18, and it did not break the demand zone, that's a clear indication that this market is going to keep moving in the up direction. So now, I know you probably saw this. So you, you know, if you were in this trade, you probably saw this. Let me, let me, uh, let me, I'm about to join on my computer so I can show you my markup. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Give me a quick second. Let's see. Oh, man, this was a beautiful setup, man. Oh, man. Oh man, this was beautiful. Guys, I don't know if you see this. I don't know if you see this. I always draw my fibs. Um, you know, fibs. Yeah, okay. Ask a quick question, real quick. Yes, sir. All right, you see that green zone right there? Mm -hmm. Can I, uh, do you buy in that zone or do you wait? Yes, sir. Or you, you buy in that green zone? That's a very good question. Okay, this is a demand zone, right? Yeah. Man zone. And it's also known as a fresh demand zone. And do you know why this is a fresh demand zone? No idea. Okay, I'm going to explain <laughs> it to you. The reason why this is a fresh demand zone, because when the market shot out of the zone, when the market shot out of the zone here, did it come back to the zone? <laughs> When now, this is I use this thing called the four quarter, uh, not the quarter theory, 
but I want you to look at it like four quarters, okay? So when the market goes up and it comes down and hit this zone here, now you got three quarters, okay? When the market comes up and comes back down to this zone, now you got two quarters left. When the market goes up and comes back down to the zone, it's making this zone weaker and weaker and weaker. And then eventually, what's going to happen is the market finally going to break through this demand zone. Now it's going to turn into a supply zone. All right. Okay. And, and with this system right here, with this trade setup that um, my guy had, I guarantee you, we had a, um, a nice setup and the market hit that zone. And it is, what I'm gonna show you is when to buy and when to sell, what to look out for. But this right, right here, yes, sir. Um, Christina wanted to know how'd you put your price on the fibs? Mm. Okay, yeah, we, we're definitely gonna get into that a little bit. Um, Christina, I showed you that when we was a part of the other thing. <laughs> um, yeah, we definitely want to get into that. Did uh, my guy get back on the chat yet? Yeah, what's up, man? All right, perfect. I'm going to let you share your screen. Okay. All right. Go ahead and share your screen. Show us where you marked in at. Uh, how, do I, how do I do that? How do I share on, on the bottom of the screen, it's going to say share. Uh, yeah, you was just sharing. All right, there you go. Okay. Well... I, I sold because I started breaking my 50 fizz right here, and I had a, a, a previous support right here. Um, did you automatically do a market execution? Um, no, because I actually I actually had a sell. I caught this sell right here, and then I was waiting for, like, a little bit of, like, pullback, and then I entered, like, around this area, and I had this drawdown, and I went to profit after, and then I woke up with my stop loss being here. Yeah. I wait. I waited for this right here, and then I entered about like. Did, what was your TP? My TP was over here. Oh, okay. I was I was waiting for it to break, like to hit this, and then I was looking for another push to the upside. Cool, cool. Um, nice setup. I see why you got faked out. Anybody could have, you know, gotten faked out right here. Now you see where your green line is. Your support right. line. Right. I want you to take a um, a red rectangle, just a rect any rectangle with a uh, color on it. Watch this. Take a yeah rectangle. Uh, how do I let's see? Uh, right there. Okay. Perfect. Now look at the first the first touch to that green line. Right. Go back to the left. To the left. It was after the the high. Yeah. To the right left. there. After the push up. There you go. Right. Now go to the go to the right. Boom. After the market broke into that zone, that's your first touch to that green line. So put a red, red rectangle right there. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's one touch to that support line right there. Okay, so whenever the market breaks into, whenever the market breaks into a zone, it's going to retest that zone a minimum of two times to establish support. So that's your first touch. Now, find your second touch to that support line. No, just put, just put um, separate things there. I want you to be able to do this. You're going to do this. You're going to find yourself doing this every single day. So you're going to ask yourself, how many touches did we have to that support? Should I be getting ready to buy or should I just wait for the, uh, the market to break out? There you go. You see it? Boom. Okay. Now, that last one that broke through, whenever you see the market break out of that zone, finally, um, Anthony said remove the, the magnet on trading. Um, how did I do that? Oh, okay. There you go. Is that it? Uh, I don't know. I don't use trading view. Yeah, that was it. Uh, you no? Did you click it on the left? You see the magnet? Yeah, I had it on. Yeah, you click it. To, you want me to turn it off or turn it? Yeah, off? turn it off. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, where did his mouth? Where did your mouse go now? That's right here. Okay. So perfect. Now, you see how the now now you can just count how many times the market. Yeah. Zoom in. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. There you go. You still. Oh, what was your question? Yeah, move your screen over to the left just a little bit because we're missing um, half your screen. Oh, okay. I see. I see what you mean. Like you might have to, yeah. Like that. Where do your other, where are your other boxes at? Your other touches to that support line. Right here. I can't. For some reason, I can't see the right side of your screen. You see it now? Can you, Christian? Can you see it? Yeah. And you can see all of the boxes? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Oh, oh, hold up. Am I controlling your screen? No, I'm doing it. No, I can actually move your screen around. I don't know why. I can. I'm actually moving your screen around. Oh, oh, oh and you're, uh, you're zoomed in. That's why. You're most likely zoomed in. Ah, okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I don't use trading view. Perfect. I got it. I can see it. Okay. okay. So, damn it, man. All right. So, um, you got you got your first touch, your second touch, your third touch, and then the fourth touch is that long wick breaking out. Okay. You can clearly see your first, second, third, and your fourth touch is actually breaking out. Now, you're going to have a few people um, who get confused about the touches. Now, in order to confirm a touch, we need to see the market. Hit that support line and then turn around and go the opposite way. And what we're talking about going the opposite way, we need to see it create what we know as a pivot. So the market drops down, makes a U-turn and go the other way, and then come back down. That's creating that, that third or that fourth touch to that uh, support line, if that makes sense. You understand that? Are you with me? Everybody free? Hector, you good? I'm not good. All right, so what I'm gonna do, Hector, I'm gonna go over to um, I'm gonna go over to my screen to show you exactly what I'm looking at, real quick. He's on a one-hour time frame. All right, perfect. My bad, man. My computer died. Uh, no worries, no worries. So um, this is the zone that you were in right here. You were in, uh -huh. in the zone right here. So what I'm looking for when this market, you see how this market broke out? Here's your breakout, retest, retest, retest. The right. market breaks into a new zone. It did not touch the line. It came right. down and touched this line right about here. So now what we're going to do is, okay, I know this is your entry, but the support is right here. See that? Right. Now on yours, it looked kind of different. Now it makes sense. Okay. So you got the market breakout. Here's your first touch. Okay. Then the right. market shoots up comes down it did not touch right here okay boom here's your next one and then this is what we know as a false breakout right that's all that happened on this pair you had a false breakout okay the market breaks into a zone here's your first touch as soon as the market creates its first touch creating a support because you don't know where it's going to happen at. As soon as you do that, I want you to go ahead and put your, your line right there. Okay? I want you to go ahead and mark up your line. So, okay, this is going to be my support until it breaks further down. Okay? So now, when the market came back down and established the support, remember the rules. When the market breaks into a zone, it's going to retest that zone a minimum of two times. And this is what happened. Broke into the zone, retest. One. Came down, boom. Number two. Number three was a false breakout. Okay? Right. It is a head and shoulder. It's a false breakout. And look what happened after that false breakout. The market went back up into this zone right here. Okay? Right, right. Mm, perfect. Oh, this was beautiful. That was beautiful. So many people may ask, why do I draw my fibs like this? Okay? Because that, I'm going to show you something real quick that's going to um, blow your mind. Right around here. This didn't happen yet. 
So I draw my fibs in the direction of the market. So when I draw my fibs from here up to here, this is my support line right here. So all I'm waiting for is the market to break out of support. See that? Notice how the market broke out of support right here. Waiting right. for it to retest. Now, remember what I showed you. In order to, for a market to break out of a zone, not breaking into a zone, in order for a market to break out of a zone, it has to hit that zone a minimum of three to four times. Now watch this. I didn't pick this pair. You did, Hector, so I can't make this up. Watch this. One. Right. Two. Here's three that got rejected and pushed back down, and look what happened on the fourth touch. The market broke out of the zone. So what are we waiting for next? We're waiting for a retest. Okay? A breakout right. retest. So what the retest did was right there, right at the tip of that candle. And that breakout was also the low of that day. Ooh. Control Y. That, yes, sir. That's right. If you guys hit Control Y, it's going to put up your period separators. And Christian, you're absolutely right. Here's the low of that day, which is right there. Boom. When you see the market holds that low, you know you're going long. If it holds that low and doesn't break it, you're going long. It was holding yesterday's. It, it came up towards yesterday. It made a high. Made a high, then it made a low that day, which was uh, which was today, Friday. Made that low, and it held it, held it for one, two, three hours. Mm. Three hours. The fourth hour, you see that the blue candle. It came, it came down, but it, the wick, those wicks are letting you know. The wicks on the bottoms are letting you know that they're 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 stopping. You just you see those wickers when you see wicks, you gotta understand what they're doing. They put the stops, they put the stops, they put the stops. Then the next green candle goes up, then the next green candle, you gotta they try to slightly come back with one more wick and then just shoot away. So then you know when that candle closes above the low, you know you're long all day. When you're you gotta see that like live. You when you see this live, you know exactly what they're doing. You're seeing those wicks. You're seeing the green candle close right above the red. Okay, now you, if you put a long position, you know your stop loss is – you could put a, a nice 15-pip stop loss below that low. They're not going near that low. Look look at all the wicks. All those wicks is letting you know they're stopping. They're not going below it. They, they, got, all, they got all their volume trapped with that, with that uh, wick the day before. That news caught all the volume they needed, all the contracts they needed, it consolidated, hit the wick low. Then it shot away, then it held the level, just did a retracement. And you could see that big green candle, like he was saying, it left the supply zone. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, it left the demand zone. Left, just whoop, just left it. Then it consolidated. Once, once you see that from the day before, and you got to look prior to the day. The, the, days, the whole week, EU was coming down. The whole week, EU was coming down. A reversal was bound. A reversal was is bound to happen and what they did they made a low on on uh wednesday they held that low on thursday news spiked it down but it did not close news spiked down but did not look at a spike and then look where news closed that doji then look at the red candle spike down again but look at where it's closing and then look at the first green when you look at his this first green right here is letting look look at this first green. You see all these wicks, but look at where the candles is closing. Then look at the neck. Look at this come down, wicked it, but look at where it closed. It's still holding this low. Then the next green, the next red candle. Look at this. Boom. Open, open, closed. Still holding this level. Just wick, but it's closing here. One second, first. Let me mute myself out. Let me mute myself out real no quick. Problem. The next one. Uh, Give me one second. Let me just get uh, get the remote so I can mute myself out. Look at this wick. Open, close. Still holding this level. Still holding this low. Still holding this low. When you see this, this is why is is better to trade an hour before news. I mean, excuse me, an hour after news. Let let news do its thing, and then let the market settle in. You know, you could catch this slow, but 
it's not at the right side of the market. Although you're catching pips, you're catching pips, but it's not at the right side of the market. This is where you want to be at. Once you see this green candle close above this red and holds it, look, look at this red right here. The wick came right back one more time. Once you see this close, you go long and look, you're in profit. You go long. When you see it hold this low, it's been holding, held this low here. One hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, went away. Oh, let me come back because the news. Propaganda, LBS, come back down, spike it low, 25. I bet you it's 25, at least 25 below that low. Mm, beautiful. So th that's, pr that's, that's another zone. If the, if that's another zone. What the market would do is go 25 to 50 pips below previous low or high. And that's exact. that spike did it. That spike did it. And then this is not normal. You got to under, when you're seeing this live, when you see this big retracement, you know, oh, that's a false move. And it closed right here. Hit the stops high, hit the stops low. Then this, look at this kid, look at this doji. You got to, you got to look at this live and see that's not normal. Marky, that's, that something's going on here. That's not normal. Now look, it's holding this low. You see it comes back down, holds the low still, comes back down, hold this low still. Green candle shot up. Once you you want to get in at this last wick, you know, you be, but to be safe, you get in when it closes. You get one more. You get in. You get in long here. You see this candle. You see all the. You keep buying. You keep because you know they're holding this low. You see this happen. You gotta you gotta understand. This is it gonna be a reversal. You gotta understand. All right, market has been coming down. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, hope Thursday's low. Wait, this is, I can't even see the. Yeah, that's Thursday. This is Thursday, right? Yeah. Okay. So Thursday. Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> Let me put it back up for you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So you see it hold that level. You see, all right. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So what do you see? You have, you, you, you see that a high form, peak high form. What do you see? A head, shoulder, shoulder. One level drop, two level drop, consolidate. The third drop, Marco uses just three level drops in reverse. Third drop, what do we have here? Hold this low. Mm. 25 to 50 pips lower, comes back, holds this low. You buy. That's it. You just buy because you know the mar market can't just keep going down without a reversal. You just, you just can't do that. It's not going to do that. Just not going to keep going down without reversal. It's bound to retrace. Now, yeah, you can just bring that all the way down. Oof. Even better, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Reversal. Now, once you you already know what's gonna happen when this bad boy comes over here, you already know what you want to do. But look, you're gonna have one level rise. This is so from this low, it rose up once, consolidated, rose up twice, little consolidation, rose up three times, now back, drop. So the market always does three level rise, three level drops, and it's just, when you want you want to see this live when it's happening, you want to see when news hit. So what what happened? News hit. You were selling this area. You're selling this area. But you got to understand, you got you to gotta see this. Before you even sell, you got to see, all right, once you got, because I, I called out a sell, this area as well. But I saw the head and shoulders. So I, right before, I didn't, at this day, I didn't know news was, I didn't know news was being released. So I called the sell. As soon as I saw, I called the sell. But then I saw the head and shoulders. How? I saw this little head. Saw this. This, this could be the head, shoulder, shoulder. What well, this was forming right here. This was forming. I called the sell though. But I saw the head and shoulders pattern. And I'm, I said, get out the sell and buy. But then I said, you know what? Exit all trades. Let the market settle in. Mark will settle in. You buy.
gave yourself a nice 70, 90, 80, 80 pips run. Just because you understand, you got to understand that they, they, you got, they held that level. They held this level. They didn't break it. They spiked it. They just spiked it. Catching everybody that has a sell below the low. Catching all the breakout traders. That's what they did. They call everybody, all the breakout traders. They're like, oh, they all done here. Because what happens? with This shift candle or this candle shifts, it just it, it killed them. It killed them with the stop loss. Because if you, had, you, you were selling here to stop loss here, you had a stop loss by the high. And they whipped your stop loss. And it, because it, the market knows where your stop loss is. It just knows. It knows. And news does that. News hits, look, news hits the stop high. If you were selling, it hit your stop high. And then what happened? Hits the stop slow. 25 to 50 pips. It went 25 pips. And you want, if you knew this, you understand this. Then it, the doji, you just got to understand, do, once you see this, it's not normal for this retracement. It just can't happen. You got to see, well, what are they doing? Okay, you look left. All right, they're holding this low because it closed here. It just spiked. They didn't break it. That was a false move. It just spiked, but it closed here. Then this candle open, closed, open, closed, still holding this low. Next green candle, you buy. You buy right here. You buy on the close. You buy on the close. 15 minutes, you want to get your entry, but you buy on the close, and you, you get a little retracement. Look at this nice green candle. A nice, a, a nice in profit candle of 32 pips. You're in profit 32 pips off that. You're good. Put your stop level at break even. You're not even coming close to it. They're not coming close to you. Not coming close. You put your stop, level, your stop loss here after 32 pips, eh, little wicks. See these wicks? You buy. They, you buy. You already know. Once this leaves 30 pips they go 30 pips away from the low. You're knowing you are on the right side of the market. So, uh, where you at? So what did Oren say? Get the breakout. So this was a consolidation zone. It's holding this low. And then it broke out. So once it broke out, you see this red candle? Okay, put your fib. What happens? You get in here on these wicks. <laughs> 618, you get in on these wicks. Going long, your second entries. These are your second entries. You see another consolidate? You get in again. These are all your entries right here to get in long again. Maximize your profits. Back towards the high. Back towards this area. Maximize your profits. If you know where they're going, why wouldn't you add more entries? You know they're going towards the high. Well, they, this is the low. They're going back towards the high. You see this. You see this wicks. This is not normal. You see the wicks. They're putting the stops, put the stops, put the stops. You buy. One, two, three, four, five, little six. You're in profit deep. Why not add more orders to your, to, your, to your trade to maximize the profits? You know, when they give you an opportunity like this, you take it. You know, they, the market, they take money from you, but they also give you opportunities to make, take money from it. They give you tons of opportunities so to get they, that money back, they, man. Leaving you, they're giving you all these hours. One, okay, so they came here. One, two, three, four. They gave you four hours to make up your mind. Are you going to keep buying me? Are you going to buy me yet? These wigs, are you going to buy me? Yes or no? And then just whoop, back towards the high. Christian, let me just share something real quick. Um, check this out, guys. Um, you know, just like. Christian was saying, you know, they're going to give you tons of opportunity to get your money back. Okay. Now let's just say right around this zone here, I'm going to move the market over because we're going to look at the market as it happened. Okay. You see this huge breakout candle. I'm only focusing on this candle. Okay. That's all I'm focusing on. So just like Christian said, let the breakout happen. Let the market do its thing. Now, when I show you this, I want you to instantly go to your charts. Okay, starting on Sunday and look for large candles. I guarantee you, I'm going to see people next week marking up charts saying, I found a large candle. Check this out. How many times have you been in the perfect entry, but in the wrong direction? Okay, been in the, the perfect entry, but the wrong direction. So you enter to go short here. 
All right, your intro to go short here, right around this zone here. But the market goes long. You got the perfect entry, but it's going out of the way. So the market feels bad for you. They say, you know what? I feel bad. So you know what? Let me give them some of that money back. Okay. So what the market is going to do, okay, remember my red zones, okay, 38. These are my Fibonacci levels, 38, 50, and 618. I'm just going to put some lines here. So as I move the market forward, okay, as I move the market forward, I'm looking for this market to give you a minimum of 50% of your money back, okay? Tell me if you see it. You see this big candle right here? This is all we're focusing on. Let me just backspace delete. All we're focusing on is this candle right here. That was the breakout candle. Watch this. I guarantee you, you will never look at <laughs> trading the same anymore. When you see this large candle breaking out of a zone, the market makers or whoever they are feel bad for you because you entered the trade in the wrong direction. They're going to give you 50% of your money back. How many of you got into the trade after getting 50% back? You were negative here. You were negative $200. On this candle, now you're negative 150. Now you're negative 100. You said, oh, snap. The market is going to reverse and come back down. Now you're negative $10. What do you do? You put in another trade on a sell to go short. The market already gave you yes or no. Hold on. We got 34 people on here. Steph, can you hear me? I'm going to unmute you real quick. Steph, can you yeah. hear me? Yes. Perfect. Steph, yes or no? Did the market give you 50% back? Yes. After the market gave you 50% back, you put in another sell. Steph, look what happened. Yep. Yeah. Look what happened next? Bye bye sell. They gave you 50% off of this large candle. Guys, we can find large candles all over this chart, and they're going to give you 50% back. Look at this large move right here. This large candle. It happens over and over and over. Okay? Right here. Market comes down. Let's find the 50 or the 618. Boom. First one was this 50% right here. The market got rejected. The market then come back down to the 618 and then goes where? In the opposite direction. Right around the zone, what, 26 pips? Okay, 26 pips. But I'm telling you, when you see these large candles like this, just be patient. It's gonna give you another opportunity to enter the trade. Okay, but before you, you know, throw up your fist and say, oh, Orin says it's going to give me 50%, it's going to go the opposite direction, switch over to a higher time frame just to know where you are. All right, you must know where you are at all times. So I'm looking at this right here. I'm looking at this move right here, this long wick to the top. If I was to draw my fibs from the high right here down to the low, oh, my freaking goodness. Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. I, I need... Anthony Ortiz, are you with me? Yep. Anthony, I preach this a lot in the groups. Okay? In the group, I, I preach this a lot, man. Wait for the market to hit your 618. The market, right here we have our resistance. Here we have our support. The market dropped down. I would have put my sell limit right around the 618. This market came up to the 618 on a long wick. You got a perfect entry as the market went back down for 124 pips. Anthony, would it be okay if you just captured 124 pips on that entry? That would be great. Amazing. Amazing. So, guys, again, knowing where you are at all times before you enter the trade is going to help prevent you from destroying your account. Right here, look at this move right what the hell look at this move right here okay we have support resistance market shoots up to the top okay market shoots up to the top you probably saying to yourself damn damn i'm in i'm in drawdown i'm in drawdown the market went against you what 72 pips 
here's a piece of advice. Never enter your trade on a, on a, on a huge lot, lot size. Okay, because what's going to happen is as soon as the market reaches your zone where your entry is, it's going to break out, retest that zone, come back down again just to establish a support zone. That's your opportunity to re enter your trade on your big lot size and take it long. You see what just happened? What did I tell you? The market breaks out of a zone, breaks into a zone, and it's going to come down, establish the zone. Okay, it's going to come down and establish the zone. The market comes down again. Now, what do we got? What do we have? The market is now rising. Here you go. Follow the rules. Okay, follow the rules. One, two, three, false breakout, and then finally, the market makes its move. Okay. Finally, the market makes its move. And look where we are right now. Beautiful. The market came back up to the zone. This is a supply zone. This is no longer a fresh supply zone. Number one, we spoke about the four quarters. Boom, the market dropped down. Now you got three quarters left. They're going to keep hitting the zone until they make it weak. Until they make it weak. Until they decide, hey, listen, I'm going to break out. All right, so um let's go with um oh, i want to show them a, a, another example of how they had the hello as well on yeah, youtube have, yeah. um so oh i destroyed that one this week you do you have a template on yes this? sir oh. let me right click template and we're going to go with my, uh, this is called, I think it's called template name. Yeah, there we go. All right. So. Uh, can you put the period separators? Yes, sir. Control Y brings up your period separator, guys. Use them. Ooh, ooh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> guys, please don't write on the screen. There you go. Anytime I see that market come down for that third touch, mm -hmm. I'm buying that like crazy. That's why I called the buy. So let me, yeah. let me tell you guys what happened here. <laughs> let me tell you guys what happened. So every day, the market, you see this period of separators? Every day, the market resets the high and low, um, 5 p.m. Eastern time, every single day. This period separator lets you know they reset the high and day every single day at this period separator. So, market came up towards the high. So this is a new high of the day. High, low, they're gonna consolidate this ever. This is the Asian, this is gonna be the Asian, your Asian uh, area. It's gonna be uh, Asia from five to, five to about 1 a.m. They're gonna be consolidating. Um, you're going to have this up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So what they did, broke the low. One, two, three swipes to the low. Okay. So now. This is the low. Okay. Now, wait, let's still have, uh, I had that. What this area? All right. So the market. Oh, I'm on the five minute. Wow. What am I doing? Did not realize that. All right. Don't need this then. Uh, 
Um, I cannot delete this. Backspace. Hold up. Just hold backspace. It deletes everything. All right, thank you. All right. So we got the. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. What I want to look at right here. So you see this? Low. So this is Friday. This is today. It's today. Mm hmm. We got low of the Asian. Got low. We got the high. Consolidate up, down, up, down. Okay. Broke the low of the Asian going towards this low. Okay. Boom. Hit the low once. Got my trend line here. Okay. Now let's take this out. I have a Mac, so this is not even working. All right. Forget it. Okay. So now let's have this high. Uh, about this area. Okay. Hit, held this low. Okay. Now, what did I say? They hold the low. Don't break it. You're long. This is the low. We got 15, 30, 45 an hour, an hour 15, an hour 30, an hour 45, two hour, two hour 15, 30, 45, three hours. It was around this low for three hours. What happens? They touched it, open, close. Still holding this low. Open, close. Now what happened? News came out with this wick. This whole wick retraced. Still holding this low. Open, close. When I see this, I called the long for our group. Our, I called the long for our group on this candle, on this doji. I saw that they came and they were going away from this low. Because I saw, I saw when news hit retraced down. I'm not going I'm, I'm to, I'm letting news settle in. Let it settle in for 30, 45. I saw that they were holding this low. I called this doji for a buy. Whoever entered my group had little to no drawdown when they entered. Little to no drawdown at 150. Look at that. Little to no drawdown. Little to no drawdown. What happened? 15 minutes, you are up. 21 pips, 15 minutes. Now? Hmm. Shit, look at that. You see that large candle, Chris? This? Yeah. This? Did, did, nah, the one you just pointed? Yeah. Yeah. Did, that's did that's the candle that? that got us in profit in 15 minutes. I call, as soon as we called it, we were, as soon as I called it, we were in profit. All hmm. right. So what happens? Market comes up here. You see this? Okay. Just leave it here. What did I say? More entries. You know where you're going. Back towards the high. I called the 50 pip take profit back towards the high. Right here. 50 pip. 122, 200. So let's put it 122, 200. Exactly was our take profit. 122. All right here. Okay. Held that level. Let's get this out of our way. Okay. Held that level. Let's get this out of our way. No. Held that level. Okay. You... All these, so I know that they were holding the soul, but I want to get a nice entry. I saw this was news. I let news sell it in. Little to no drawdown. Right there was our entry. Little to no drawdown. 1.50. You got what? Two, you, two pip drawdown? Well, two pip drawdown. Two pip drawdown. Next 15 minutes straight into profit. When you see, when I saw this, I kept adding orders. You see this wick? You add another order, okay? You see this? Settle in, draw your fib. Add more orders at the 618 level. Okay. You still, you, you still, still don't want to add. You 
to add more orders at this level again. So you're seeing it again. Okay. What did I say the market does? Don't you see these wicks? You, the 618 level is here. 618 level is here. You buy, okay? You get, you get these wicks, you buy again. You, you, you got, take profits here. You, you already know. You're maximizing your profits. Once you see that the candles, the candles are keep going away from the low of the day, you're understand. You're adding more orders. Push. Come back. Add another order. Push. Come back. Add more orders. Maximize your profit. You could have had one order. One order here. Two, three, four. This is fifty. With what? This is gonna be like fifty, thirty, twenty, ten. You you just caught. 50, 30, 20, 10, 110 pips. Hmm. More trade. If you're, ma you're maximizing your pro profits, you got to understand how to do that. When you're on the right side of the direction of the market, maximize your profits. Mm -hmm. From the low, back towards the high. You made a peak, and look, it shot down back towards the high. Well, I, uh, this was my take profit this line but it went towards this high you caught all these pips with no pressure none at all oh, two pip drawdown a two pip drawdown to no pip drawdown you're straight and profit comes back a little bit of retracement added order you see this push up you put you put this line there okay you see another push up You add orders. See this green? Add orders. See this green? Add an order. Not on this one because the green, the red candle came back down. Get the get the wicks. Get the wicks. Get the wicks. The wicks are telling the story. We're stopping. We got them all trapped down here. Got all the sellers trapped. That's all we needed. These green candles off the low is letting you know they did this wicks. This wick did his job. This wick did his job we got enough sellers that's what the wick is going the, the wick is there oh we they, they're still selling okay let me retrace back off oh you're still want to sell let me retrace back off because this is a wick but they're closing up here a wick doji open open they're getting hitting the stops hitting the stops close right there nice be patient up 20 pips in less than 15 minutes if you were just being patient, they held this level. They were holding this level. This is the, the, this is the trade I called this morning. They held this level. I knew they were holding this level. So I called that buy right here. Perfect entry. Next candlestick got you 20, 21. This wick, 20. You were up 23 pips in profit. Instant, instant profit. One second, Chris. I think somebody got a uh, question. Let's go. Let's get some questions answered. Yeah, let's get some questions out there. Um, <laughs> let me get the time machine, made it 45. Uh, oh, man, they said this boy is telling the future. That's okay. right. Come on, guys. Um, Listen, this is the time, and yeah, I open love up it. The floor. Let's get some questions. Exactly. I love it because the time is 10 o'clock, and we still got 34 people on here. Powerful, okay? Many of you could have fell off and went to sleep. Let's open up the floor. Let's get some questions. Yo, pick our brain. That's what we're here for. Unmute yourself. You got a question. Unmute yourself. Let's go one by one. Okay. Could you Perfect. have um, bought before the doji? Before this doji? Absolutely. Before this doji? Absolutely. You could have bought at, when this green candle, when this, so you see this open closed here. When Hold on, you're not showing it. Hold on, you're not showing it. Hold on, hold on one second. Let me just give you the mouse again. Let's see if you can move it. That's me moving? Yeah, that's you. There you go. You okay. got it. Now. So, okay, so you see it comes back towards the low, and it closed. Didn't break it. When this candle opens, when this candle opens and closes, you can buy. Although, 
there's news. I'm not, I don't want to do that towards news because with the news, with the spike, as soon as news came, it did a spike. You could have bought the, you could have bought the close of this, but I don't want that. I let it, I'd let news settle in for at least an hour. Let news settle in. I let news settle in for at least an hour. I'm not getting these wicks anymore. Not getting these wicks anymore. I bought here little to no drawdown on that entry. That's why I called it. Let news settle in. Now, I don't, I, I don't want to deal with this wicks, although I could have bought the wicks coming back up to retrace. But uh, I don't, listen, I'm getting the best entry. I'm calling a trade out for a group. I'm trying to get the best entry for us. This was the best entry for us. Two pip drawdown. A two pip drawdown, you're straight into profit. Nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Who, talk to us, guys. Who's next? Hey, Oren, it's uh, James, man. Hey, so as, as, far as, as, as far as seeing this pair, um, I mean, from when, from when you jump on the charts, what time y'all got on the charts? Me? Yeah. I see. All right. So I, so I, I'm always up during London and New York session, but I see this consolidation and I saw, and then you I come back around my, my charts, 8 AM. What do I see? Hit, hit the stops of this low breaking out, breaking out all this. They're get. this is what they want to do. They want to accumulate their contracts. They're getting all the breakout traders. All the sellers, they're getting it. So what, what are they going to do? Hit the stops with this wick. Hit the stops, hit the stops. Now they stopped right here. Open close. This green candle, open close. This wick. All right, so what does that tell you? You're going to buy if they come back and hold that level. So you understand why? It's also, am I on this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're holding this low as well. Okay. Confluence. Confluence putting confluence in your trade and I also you know have an RSI indicated all that but this I'm this is simple nigga you're seeing this was a low before one two they weren't breaking this low <laughs> they're not breaking just those wicks it's not breaking it's just wicks wicks is not breaking it they're just wicks switch Cash over to the line chart switch yeah. over to the line chart show them there and now go. my uh my yeah. look at that look at that, look at that. Perfect. That's why I use the, that's why I use the line chart a lot. Oh, oh my! Look at that perfect. You're not breaking the zone. That's right. Wait, manipulation again. All that they're getting their contracts. They might, they may, whoever the market maker, whoever they are, they make money by getting your contract. They know where the contracts are at, ab- ab- beneath the low. They're getting the breakout traders. Okay, so let's put let's take the line. They're getting these wigs is getting you trapped. If you're a selling, you're trapped. When these green candle move away from your entry zone, if you're selling, you're, if you got a sell stop, you got a, you got, if you're selling earlier, if you got a sell stop here, this green candle is giving, getting you a negative drawdown. Deep mm. margin trouble. You're in margin trouble. And keep going. Yeah. This green candle, you're definitely out. If you didn't have a stop loss, we got you. Took all your money. That's what they're doing. That's all they do. Okay. And the, uh, the other pair that, uh, that I ended up um, – the, the only pair that I traded last night that I really cared about was GU, just because it's setting up for that sell. And uh, you gotta um, understand, um, G. When you see the scanner, when you see the scanner, um, perfect. The, I get it. I got it. Go ahead, keep talking. When you see the scanner, um, it had an entry, uh, but two days. I believe, or the day before, it made a move down about about 60, 70 pips, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, this moved down. And don't be greedy. Take your profit. Then when you see it come back and break this high, don't get in. It broke the entry level zone of the harmonic scanner. You're not getting in. Let it settle in. You don't just get in because it says entry. That's the entry zone level zone wait for the market to settle in this is too impulsive to sell it's not giving me no indication to sell yet it's too impulsive let yeah it, so that that's exactly what i'm like, what i'm looking for like okay so yes like i i didn't know that the two uh entries was kind of like a zone until maybe yesterday and then okay. so but yes how do we determine okay yes this market is 
definitely like so basically where where that wick is up there that last uh candlestick are we just we just looking for that to make a mean ass wick right you trying to chart? no that last one this one yeah. no the la the last one yeah. on the chart that's news right there yeah this 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 was news and this also happened cuz of um yeah that uh that a terror attack yeah 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 it just manipulates the market you know Although it's a horrific tra tragedy, but it, this is what it does. But you, let me zoom out for you. Uh, we have it breaking highs. Yeah. Why are we selling? You know what I'm saying? This gave us to us the right here. It did the perfect entry on the harmonic scanner. Then it went down the next day. Perfect entry. What? what how many pips this gave us? 40, is that 44 or 44? No, that's 440. You're on, 40. You're on the daily chart, eh? You're yeah. on the daily chart. Okay. Yeah, go to that one hour. The, the one hour was what, what the... Uh, the before, I know, because we the were... The harmonic split. was on. Okay, hold up. Um, Oren, can you put the period separator? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, this Friday... Okay, so this right here came on the scanner. Yeah. You got 126 pips right back towards the slope. You see this? You see, this is not normal, and it broke the high. Okay. Now, on the harmonic scanner, this is on the daily that your entry zone. But you got they're it. They're giving it's a harmonic scanner is a tool. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before you go too far, before you go too far, and I'm going to give it right back to you. Yep. Come on, man. Did they just give you this right here? Head and shoulders. But right here, they gave you this right here. Remember, remember the rules? <laughs> right here. The market breaks into a new zone. One touch. <laughs> two touch. It got the hell out of there. Man. <laughs> go ahead. You got it, man. Take it. So, so, so... You, the harmonic scanner is a tool for entries, but you, you got to do your own analysis. You got to see, okay, you look at the highs. Backtrack. It's on the daily for the scanners, on the daily. So backtrack. Get your, get your levels. So you see that uh, you would have – so it gave you that 126 pip run. Okay, then you see it came to the low and then bounced off the low. Then you see it broke the high. All right, so once it breaks this high, now look, where, where is another high? This is another high. Mm -hmm. So if you're not selling, if it's breaking these highs, it's making higher highs, why are you selling still? It's not giving you any indication to sell yet. So mm. let the markets settle in. Let the market settle in. It's not even settled in yet. You go, so that's on a daily, four hour, one hour. So now it's doing a little consolidation, but let yeah. them it trapped. let They've the market today, man. Yeah, that's what it's doing. <laughs> Off the held this low. What did what have I just been talking about? If it holds a low buy, held that low, mm -hmm. held this low with this last wick, and then just got away from you. A little bit of consolidation got away from you again. Mm -hmm. Candle got away from you again. So the scanner is entry zones. Why? Because it was letting you know uh, if it comes back towards these levels we would be selling because it's been bouncing off mm -hmm. bounced off bounced off came up bounced off so they they were anticipating if it comes back we're getting a bounce off but we did that day 126 pips are you still going to be uh that that would be a that was on the scanner for a swing trade that you're not holding anymore you're not holding it anymore if you got your pips um if you're still holding your stop loss, should be at break. It should be in profit. It should be in profit. Definitely in profit if you want to hold it. Definitely put it at the top, at least at this at this high of the consolidation level. When you see this consolidation level, put it at the high. When you see this green, when you see this red, I what I would have done when I. Uh, All right, so when I see this, see this, um, I would have, okay, so I would still hold this. What, what are we, uh, uh, from this to this, 85 pips in profit. I'm not, not even mad if it comes and hits my stop loss. 
85 pips in profit. So it hits your stop loss in profit. Now you analyze what is it doing. You see this candle is too impulsive mm -hmm. to keep mm -hmm. selling. Too impulsive. You see this consolidation. So we're, we're, we're on a one hour. So we'll, let's draw some fibs. So once it does it here, didn't even, try, didn't even give you a chance to answer. Didn't give you a chance, man. Didn't even give you a chance. It's, we, go, we long, we long gone. Bye. We got every, we got all, we got everything. We got everything trapped here. Wherever we're selling, right. look at this level. Wherever we're selling, we, we got you. We're done. We came back. So look, there were sellers here, and they shifted the market. They got their level. So they was like, let me, let's go back. People st still thinking we're gonna go short. Let's go back to that level. Let's get let's, let's really let's really kill them. This candle really killed ya. Correlated with some news. Correlated with the attack, terrorist attack. So all <laughs> that comes into play with confluence. It drove the market up. So with the scanner, that would be invalid. Or you see, it had two entry zones. Once it broke your first entry zone, you're not even buying. I mean, you're not even selling. You let you let the let the market come to a at least a, a nice consolidation zone set here, but still no clear indication to sell. Still not yet. What are you selling yet? The, all these impulses up. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I want to see something, a clear signal to tell me to sell. There's no yet a clear signal to tell me to sell. Mm -hmm. Unless, although we do have one, two level, three level rise, but I'm still not, it's going to be a reversal coming and you're going to catch mm -hmm. a lot of pips, but still, don't see don't see why i would be uh selling yet exactly <laughs> go to the go to that deli go to that deli uh quick question uh, how, uh why do you draw your fibs like that or like how like can you explain how you draw your fibs yeah you talk you talk to the fib master himself right there <laughs> i learned that from him i yo i did one webinar and every time i did it yo it just perfect entries i'm like damn damn Warren. Oh, major man. facts, bro. <laughs> like, major, let, let, let him go over that. That's not even my field. That's his field. <laughs> All right, so, Christina, I'm going to go over the Fed prices real quick. Um, you know, we've been uh, – Christina's been asking me, how do I get the prices onto my Fibs like that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, like, harassing you. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. So, guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Fibonacci Properties. I'm gonna go to fib levels okay notice right here okay let's just go ahead and put another level up we're gonna start at zero okay <laughs> all right perfect 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 yes sir we're gonna do that in two seconds all right so let's say we want to play a 718 okay so we're gonna put zero point okay 718 no not 718 i'm thinking about that i'm thinking about the old <laughs> number man <laughs> Uh, the old New York telephone number. Okay, 786, 0 0.786. And then we're going to put 78.6. Okay. And then from there, we're going to put, I'm going to do a space because I want next to each other. Percent, dollar sign, pound. Yeah, I love it. Okay, percent, dollar sign, pound. When I hit OK, look what happens. Okay, 786. And now it gives me the price. Because how many times you get into a trade and you draw your fibs and you say, all right, now you got to go ahead and put some lines on there. So, all right, the price yep, is here. Yep. <laughs> then, you go to, then you got to go to a new order and put all this yep. stuff. Guys, you don't have to do that. Wherever you want to put your trade at, let's say if you want to put a trade way up here, right click on your screen and look what happens. You can do a buy limit, go to trading, you can do a sell stop. But these numbers aren't going to change until you do this. One click trading and change the numbers over here 0 0.01. Make sure you change this first, okay? Then you're going to go over here and look how it changed, okay? So you just click on your screen wherever you want. So, um, with these numbers on here, so you're going to hit percent pound, no, percent dollar and pound if you want to get these fifth levels, okay? How's that, Christina? That's beautiful. Thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, um, before we get into Gustavo, 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mute everyone out. Thirty-four people strong, man. This is unbelievable, man. <laughs> unbelievable. So we were looking, you know, you guys were talking about fibs and you know what made me really look into fibs, all right, and what made me start using fibs. You guys look at my chart, you don't see any indicators on my charts. All I use is Fibonacci. And I know most people say use Fibonacci's in uh, conjunction with other indicators, but I just think indicators move too slow for me. I need to, I got right now bills, so I need to get into the trade like right now. You know, indicators, most indicators will move too slow. The market moved in a certain direction. Now I got to wait for the pullback and wait for the market. Now I missed the train. Okay. So let's look at uh, GJ. Um, I called this trade on GJ. And I told everyone it was going to hit 139. Um, after it hit 139, I told everyone it was going to heaven. It went to heaven. Okay? It went to heaven. So when I look at my charts, I first start on the monthly time frame. Okay? I first start on the monthly trend. What I'm looking for is I'll stare at my chart, and then I'll get up and step back from my computer. What am I looking at? First, I need to find support. I know this is the monthly time frame, and it, to most people, it may look like overkill. Why are you looking that far? It's not going to drop down today. I understand that. After I find my support, I say, okay, my support is there. All right, I got another one here. All right, cool. No problem. No problem. Okay. Uh, one second. Forget the indicator naked track. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So now I'll go over to the weekly time frame. Oh, wow. I go to the weekly time frame and now I'm starting to see something beautiful. I'm starting to see something magical. So what I do now is I grab my fibs. Okay. Grab my magical fibs. I'm going to draw from the low up to the high. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of numbers on my chart, but the one that matters to most is the first pull. Oh my goodness. I need to say that one more time. You're going to see a whole bunch of numbers on my chart, but the one that matters to most is the first push to the high. Watch what I tell you. You see what it says right here? 0 0.618 is our take profit. I posted this today that GBP still has 210 pips left to go. Maybe I need to say that again. GBP, JPY, GBP USD. Pound pairs, they still got over 100 pips to rise. Why? They are retesting Brexit. Almost a year and a couple months, it took them to retest Brexit. This is Brexit right here. What is Brexit? We just spoke about it. A large candle leaving a zone is what? Either supply or demand, depending on where it's leaving from. If it's leaving from the top, it's supply. If it's leaving from the bottom, it's demand. Okay. So, um, Christina, you remember that, right? On the first webinar, we did call that. We said it was going to rise back up to um, Brexit. Okay. So, guess what? A year later, it's finally doing it. Okay. Breakout retest. And then, you know what's going to happen next? The market is going to hell. Okay. So, we're going to get back into this real quick in a minute, but this was my last low right here. This was my last low before the drop. This was my last low support, boom, and drop. So what I do is I drew my fibs from the last low to the most recent high. Well, not most recent high, but the high at that time. Okay, right at this time. Support. Market pushed back up to resistance. Check this out. It's going to blow your freaking mind. Support right here. We see support right around this zone here. We see support here. The market, Brexit, boom, shot down. Breakout, retest. This is still a fresh, all of this right here. All of this is a supply zone, okay? So we see this as a fresh supply zone right around this zone here. Notice that this support, which is the 100, is the same 
as my take profit at the 0 0.618. That's confluence right there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and move this out the way. How did I enter this trade or call this trade to go long? Guys, remember in the beginning, I'm just gonna go ahead and write this down so you can take a picture of it. When the market, okay, breaks into a zone, okay, when the market breaks into a zone, it will retest a minimum of two times, not 32 times, two times. You might ask, okay, Aaron, how do you know this? I've lost so much in my life trading Forex. Okay, when I first got started, I've lost so much that I had no choice but to win. I lost so much that I had no choice but to, to win. I tell you this, guys, if you're losing and you don't know why you lost, then guess what? You haven't lost enough. You need to lose some more. And I realized I couldn't afford to lose anymore. So I studied these charts. I studied looking at a naked chart. I studied looking at the chart, what happens after it breaks into a zone. You see this right here, this demand zone? This is a large candle, this is a weekly. Breakout into a zone, one touch. Breakout into a zone, two touch. The market went to heaven. Look at this, right on the 382. Look at this, right on the 50. The market is moving in waves. The next time this market comes back down, it's coming to the 618. 50, twice, boom, 50, 50, 382, 382. The next time this market is coming down, it's coming to the 618. I'm gonna show you a measurement, 618 to 618. 618 is your entry, 618 is your extra exit. Guys, boom, the market goes up. What I do next is I draw my fibs from the top, down to the low, okay? From the top down to the low. This zone right here, this is my support zone. This market, once it entered here, the exit was where? 618 entry. 618 was your entry to sell back down to the low. Why do we exit right here? Breakout, first touch in the zone. 618 entry, second touch to the zone. Do not sell on the second touch to the zone. How many pips was that? From this zone down to here, 740, well, 751 pips. I'm gonna teach you guys how to hold trades long-term, how to sit on your hands and shut the computer off and enjoy the rest of your life. There should be no reason why you should be trading Sunday through Friday. I understand you got right now bills, you wanna take care of it, but if you're trading Sunday through Friday, guess what you're doing? You're gambling. Now we're not gonna gamble anymore. Now this is an educated, you're gonna be educated and knowing exactly what the market is doing. Forget about what news is coming out, okay? News, forget about news. The market goes up to the 618, boom, there's your entry, the market drops back down right around this zone here. It created a support. Boom, market breaks out. Oh, here it goes, it gets even better. Now, market breaks out, we come down, we went back up, I'm not gonna draw one here, but we come down to this zone here, okay? Came down to this zone here. I'm gonna blow this up so you can see it because the fibs are gonna start, you're gonna see a whole bunch of numbers on here and numbers don't lie. Numbers do not lie. Okay, boom, this market goes back up. This is what we know as the 100. Market goes up to the 100, see the 100 right here? Wherever the Fed goes, 100, wherever the Fed level go, 
it's going to come back down to that equal number on the bottom. That sounds confusing, but watch this. Okay, watch this. If we go up to the 100 here, come back down to the zero here, we're going to do a full retracement over here. Ask a question if you need to ask a question. This has been super. <laughs> ask questions, ask questions. Guys, no, you don't need that many fibs. Trust me, you don't need. Christine, let me explain something. You don't need that many no, fibs. No, no, I, I know. It's just it's confusing the numbers. Like, it's blurring for me. Oh, yeah, it gets blurry. But here's the thing. You don't see all of this at the time when it's happening. And I'm going to show you something. You see how this right here, this, this market is like, let's say this is a zero, uh, the 100%. This market goes up. I drew my fibs from this high right here down to this low. Because this market came all the way back down to this zone here, it's going to go back up to this zone right here. You see that? If we created a double bottom here, we're creating a double top here. Make sense? Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. So now, like I said, we can get rid of this fib here. I, I draw fibs like crazy, guys. I then take the market up. Oh, my goodness. What level did we hit? Christian, he's been saying it all night. We did not close below. We threw a wick, 618. That's on a weekly. That's on a weekly. <laughs> the market hit the 618, didn't close below, and shot up right up to the zone here. How many pips is that, man? Come on. Ridiculous. 822 pips. It's not stopping. No. <laughs> it ain't stopping yet. Now you ask yourself, all right, the market went up, created the double top. Many people see this double top and say, oh, my goodness, this is a double top. The market is going to hell. Guys, no. you see what happened? Yeah. I'm in the zone here. I can't make this stuff up. This is going to be the slogan of the year. I can't make this up. Break into a new zone, close the gap, break out, one touch, two touch the zone, the market goes up. Now you want to know how far are we going up? How far are we going up? Well, remember, the first fib level that you draw off of that support, boom. Yeah. The first fib level off of that support, the market comes down. Anything in the red zone, 618, 50, and 382, all goes to the 1618. If it comes down to the 786, it goes to the 127. If it comes down to the 886, it goes to the 118. So the deeper the retracement, the shorter the profit. 382. Wait, wait, can you explain that one more time? Okay. So if the market comes down to the 382, mm -hmm. to the 50, or the 618, this is considered the red zone. Now, the reason why I call it the red zone, okay, um, it could be any color. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> but your take profit is going to be the 1618. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to write that down here for you. Yeah. 38.2, 50, okay, and the 61.8, Percent equals the one point six one eight. And you don't count the wicks? You just close, you count the closing of the candle? Well, I mean, you gotta understand. Sometimes I cl I count the wicks. Um, sometimes, sometimes I, I count. Because you're wicks. gonna get your at the top. You're probably not gonna get a wick. You're gonna get a closing. But on the bottom, you probably get a wick. Like right mm -hmm. there. You probably that where he has it, you probably didn't get much of a wick. The green where he has the the zero fib level on right on the left side to the high, you probably you don't get that much of a wick. But you you could do the closing or or the wick. Does That's the right. wick to the wick it doesn't really doesn't really matter. Eight, eight. I mean, I'm so, talking about when it taps into the um the red zone. So the candle has to actually close in that red zone. Absolutely. Versus have a wick. At, yeah, you want to get great. Con you want to get confirmation. And the wicks are. You want to get confirmation of that three eight level. That second, the second uh, leg. You saw the first wick, 
uh, the first level, he has the box. The second, that second touch is when you want to get in. That's a confirmation. And it's holding, the, it's not breaking the previous 50 level. It's holding that level. It's not breaking it. It gave you two confirmations that you get in. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. You want to wait for confirmation. You just don't want to get in the trade because it's at those levels. Wait for a perfect confirmation, and you're not going to get no drawdown. You're not going to get your stop loss hit. You're going to be in the right direction of the market. That's right. And if the market does not come down to your lever, do not chase it. Yeah, exactly. Don't chase market trade. execution and say, oh, it was almost there, so you're going to hit a market execution. As that soon as you hit market execution, it comes right back down to your yep. entry. You probably hit a market execution on a wick and then just that it does a full retracement and just hits or you blow your account if you had no stop loss or something like that if you over risk. But don't don't do the wicks. Just wait for a perfect entry confirmation. Wait for the close of it. This last one, eight eight six, I got it at one point one eight two. It's probably one point one fourteen. One point one four. Okay. You notice guys, I don't use uh, these levels, I go for the big ones. Okay. Okay. So with this here, what we're looking for next is we know that we know that pound has still still got some room to go up. Okay. Pound got a lot of room to go up. But you see this right here? Why did this market break through? This is what I want you guys to understand. Why did the market break through? One, two. Stevie Wonder saw this and he called me up. He said, Orin. That's on the fourth touch, man. It's going to break. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Steve, you want, you want to call me up? He said, and Ray Charles, Ray Charles was like, Oren, I can see that, man. I can see. One, two, three, what happened on the fourth touch? Breakout. You broke Guys, through. And your scene is creating higher lows. Higher yeah. lows. Draw trend lines. You're, you're going to you're, you're pinch the market. You're going to be pinching the market. You're going to be pinching the market. That's what you want to do. Get the market to where you want it to go to. That's crazy, man. Look at that. You pinch the market. It breaks out. Oh, hold on, hold on. What, what we got right here? A wedge. One. Yeah. There you go. Who said two, that? There you go. Three. Breakout? Oh. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. He's a, come on, man. Let me, let me. You listen, listen, everybody. Trading is, is simple. You just gotta, uh, uh, you just gotta master the emotions and you right. see the patterns. These are simple, easy the patterns. patterns. These are just we're all, all you, you gotta send it. All we are doing is identifying a pattern. Christian, oh. take Christian, take control. Someone wants to know what's a wedge. What's a wedge? So that right there. I deleted it. Okay. So what you could do, so you have this. Hey, yeah, not, yeah, exactly. A squeeze. Mm. Yeah, baby. Mm, beautiful. I've been waiting for this for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Christian? Put the line chart so they can actually see that too. Yeah, I like the line chart better. Yeah, the line chart is my favorite, man. So the, that is called, I got you right now, that is a ascending triangle wedge. Yeah. That's called an ascending triangle wedge. You see this triangle? Oh, I'm going to yeah, hold it. Breakout, you get okay. Yeah, one. You get or right, so you get a touch to the low. Okay, two, three, four. Every time it's getting closer, uh, you see market. Um, it's, it's creating higher lows. Higher lows, same same high though. Higher lows, same high. Mm. Same high, higher lows. You, you guess where it's gonna break out towards? Uh side create touch the, it's creating higher lows same high same high low same high low we're gonna break the high 
we've been creating higher lows. Low, 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 same high, breakout. Nice. Well, before we, before we move on, real quick, Chris, before we move on, uh, give me one second, one second. Uh, okay, I see everything. Guys, I want to um, introduce you to someone that you already know. Okay, I want to reintroduce you to someone you already know. Um, you know, he's been traveling around. Make sure you still, Gustavo, you still here? Yes, sir, I'm here. You know, uh, man, I, I met him online. Matter of fact, I can't even tell the story. Gustavo. Yo, but like, let, me, let me tell you something. Um, <laughs> son, I, 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 when I met Gustavo, I remember this like it happened yesterday. Son, I was, uh, I, seen, I seen Gus on, on Facebook. I forgot a while back. And I, I was just seeing his lifestyle and his trading. And I'm like, damn, like, let, let me get put on. I want to trade. Like, let me learn from this guy. You know what? This guy don't want to listen. I hit this guy on the DMs. He want to act all bougie. Not hit me in the DMs. <laughs> back. But then I finally saw him and we went to Orlando. You know, we, we, we linked up. We, it was great vibes. And it's definitely somebody that, you know, you're going to be, is going to teach you a lot. Um, but Gustavo, man. I'm still gonna remember that. I was like, damn, yo, that was my I was like, yo, I wanna learn. Then I seen this guy, then I'm like, we talking, we we cool. Then I'm like, yo, bro, you know, you was asking bougie with me one day. I try to hang you up. I got no reply. What's going on? But yo, I love you, man. Yo, take over. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. You know, one thing I can really say, um, you know, what we going on here is is special because you need to you need to understand, guys. Not a lot of people taking the time out of the day to get a uh, you know a webinar going and giving you knowledge of what works and what doesn't work. To tell you a little story about how I met Oren, what Oren didn't know is that I've been following him for a while before I even stepped foot in the niche. You know, because I'm a I'm a type of guy I like to follow people that have what I want at the end of the day, and I recommend anybody on here to do the same. So what I did, you know, I, I the right people at the right time. And out of nowhere, I'll never forget Mr. Oren Wright sent me a link to a webinar, to a webinar. And he was like, hop on right now. Um, if you can, I was actually 20 minutes away from my house. I was like, you know what? I'm out of stomp, pedal to pedal. I'm going to the house and I'm, I'm getting on this webinar. So that happens. I get to the house. I get on a webinar. And when I tell you, when I tell you this guy took the time out of his day, he gave me two hours of his time. <laughs> he could have had those two hours to spend with his family. He could have been sleeping. He could have been eating. And it was like a blessing from the skies. The guy gave me his time. He gave me his knowledge. And ever since he taught me this strategy with the 618 with the fibs, guys, I've been making even more money trading. Okay? I'm not here to say what, what Mr. Oren teaches is the best strategy in the world. No, I'm not saying it's that. But it's a strategy that works. Every single person that's on this webinar, you have to find a, a way, you know, a way for the market to work for you. Because at the end of the day, just because, you know, this guy over here is catching hundreds and thousands of pips a day, doesn't mean you're going to be able to catch a hundred thousand pips a day. This strategy that Mr. Oren's given us is one, keeping us conservative and two, having us patient in the market. Because let's be real, guys, let's be real. How many people on this webinar, you know, struggle with being patient in the market? Okay, I'm not going to lie. Myself, too. You know, I have trouble with being patient. Gus, you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yeah, there, there are traders that are in this market that are very well experienced, but they still go through the trials and tribulations. So I want you guys to know, you know, all the info that is provided here with Chris, with Mr. Oren, is very, very valuable information. You know, this Fib, this Fibonacci strategy, I mean, man, it was crazy. The day I sat there on a webinar, he literally blew my mind away, guys. I got so excited that I was like, man, Oren, I can't wait to trade next week and, and use this strategy. So, for example, let me share my screen real quick, see if you guys can check it out. Um, this might look like a little familiar trick. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, so the way I use the fibs, you know, I use it my way too, and I use it the way Mr. Oren taught me as well. Um, last night with Euro Odd, um, you know, I was looking at the 15 minute. I had a zone right here of support. As you heard Mr. Oren say, three touches to the low, three to four touches, 
we're looking to buy. So that's what kind of happened here. As you guys see, I got the zone right here. You know, one wick here, two wick here. I thought this was literally going to come down, hit my order, and pop up, right? This is the move that I was looking for. I remained patient. I remained patient. Like you said, sit on your hands. I let price do what it does. After that, I've never seen Euro odds so, move so fast to the downside. 40, I think it was about, let me see, 40 to 50 pips. Yeah, it was literally 50 pips for the downside, right? So my, my sell limit, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. One thing I learned from Mr. Sometimes, I'm not going to say all the time, you will literally miss your order by one pip because that's how precise the strategy is. So what I did, I put my sell limit right here at 48800 okay? It hit my order, and it put me in 12 pip drawdown. Well, 15 pip drawdown. Am I scared of 15 pip drawdown? No, sir. Because Mr. Oren told me, Gustavo, you might, you, you, you will get that entry you want, but guess what? You might have another 10, 15 pip drawdown. I'm fine with that. But you know what he taught me? Just like he said, you guys on, 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 on a webinar, is to enter the market on a small lot. I enter on a penny or a two penny. Once I see it breaks my entry, and I stack some more orders up. And that's exactly what happened, guys. Look, look what happened. It hit, it hit, it hit, it hit the 618. It put me in 10 to 15 pip drawdown. And look at it from 48800, it hit my TP for 25 pips, then it hit my TP for 50 pips, and then it still went up. It mm. still went up. But this is the thing, right? He teaches us how to be conservative, regardless if this went up 100 pips. We just caught 50, we caught half of the move. I call it a day. 50 pips a day keeps a nine to five away, guys. And that's <laughs> the realest thing you're ever gonna do. Wow. So with that being, I want you guys to wow. know. Mr. Oren Wright is teaching people that have no idea how this works. And guess what? Next week, people are on their demo accounts making profits. The week after, they go on a live account making real money. So you guys need to understand you're at the right place at the right time with the right people. I even told Mr. Uh, Mr. Oren Wright that I want to be able to get on these webinars, you know, because guess what? Three heads is better than one. Imagine if you could learn from me. You can learn from Mr. Christian. You know, you learn from Mr. Oren Wright. You learn from everybody. Because this is the thing, like I said in the beginning, there's not a lot of people in this niche doing this. You know, we have IML TV, you know, we got IML Academy, but this is the thing, guys, we're here to educate people. You know, I, I, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm fine giving out signals all the time, you know, and making sure people eat. But this is my thing. I want, I want you to know why I gave out that signal. I want you to know why Euro Odd hit this 15 minute support and decided to fly up 80 pips. I'm not just going to be like, oh, all right, guys, let's buy Euro Odd and let's make money. No, I don't work like that. I want to show you exactly why the market made its move, why it went here, why it went there. And with, with all that having to do, you guys need to understand there's so much you, you have to learn. You know, there's so much growing in, in, in the trading industry that you have to do. So if you know for a fact you have not been putting in the, the, the time and the, and, and the effort onto the chart, Today is the day to make a decision. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till Sunday. Do it today because you have powerful people here. This kid, Christian Baptiste, let me tell you a little story about him. I never forget. It's crazy that he, he mentioned that story because I don't even remember. I talked to so many people today. It's crazy. I saw this kid trading penny lots, guys. He was making, you know, $1,500 $1 a day. Not too long ago, about three months ago, I seen this kid making a grand or three grand a day. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Anything is possible. What I see is a kid that put in the time and the effort, that put the blood, sweat, and tears, and now, guess what? He doesn't have to work a job. He probably provides for his family. He has all the time freedom in the world. And guess what? He's happy with life. And that's, I'm sure that's what everybody wants on here, guys. I'm telling you, you know, the Forex market, to be able to obtain the skill set to, to, to make money at will, wherever you want, when you want, it's, it's a blessing. All right, but you're gonna be able. You're gonna you, you're gonna have to go through the ups and downs. You're gonna have to go through the blown accounts. You're gonna have to go through emotions, to to be able to reach that that catapult. You know that catalyst of of success in the market. You know you'll have your fifty dollar days, your hundred dollar days, the five hundred dollar days. You know I've had my one k, two k days. They will come in due time. So just remember the level up process is not easy, but is well worth it. But with that being, I want to thank everybody that's on this webinar, taking out the time to listen to me, Chris. And Mr. Oren Wright, you know, I'm looking forward to doing more webinars like this. And I told Mr. Oren Wright, let's incorporate, regardless if I'm on y'all's team or not, I'm, I'm, I'm all about 
teamwork at the end of the day. That's that's what I'm about. I don't care if you're on my team or not. I've been able to help, you know, numerous of people all over the world master the skill set. And it's more than just the money. It's more than just the withdrawals. It's, 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 it's the lifestyle and the freedom that people are being able to obtain with this. But I want to thank everybody on this webinar. Um, I hope you guys soaked, soaked in all the knowledge that you got from Mr. Oren and, and, and Chris. I mean, because I've been sitting here taking notes myself. I'm always a student <laughs> to the game. That's one thing I can tell you guys is to always be a student to the game. It doesn't matter who it is. Because if it wasn't for Mr. Oren Wright sending me that link one day, whew, I wouldn't be catching these 618 entries like I am now. <laughs> and um, I wanna, yo, yeah. just I like this chart, too. Um, it's nice that you said that. Um, that's 618 perfect. And if you look towards the left, you had to look at that. Look, look at the market hold the low and not break it. Just look exactly. at that right there. Look at that nice W again. Market hold that low. Mm. And then it came up one, two, three pushes, and then it consolidated and made like a wedge right towards the 618. Right towards the 618. So yeah. he, he had the right bias the whole time. We're going long. We're going long. Holds the holds the holds the, the low. On the left side, right there, that strong downside, green candles, a uh, uh, red wick, open close right there. Stretch, Jamarco went straight away, and you looking, looking right back to a six one eight to add an order. If you didn't, if you, if you missed that on September, where it says right there, September fourteenth six, missed that entry. You got another one, September fifth on the fourteenth, right fourteen hundred, right down to six one eight percent. Hey Chris, so, you know what most people know. Most people know the double bottoms and double top. But right just where you just pointed out, September 14th, that's a V bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay? That V bottom is also an inverted head and shoulder. Okay? Everybody. Perfect. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Like, like, seriously, guys, like when I – when I heard about the strategy, man, and, and I worked it, I back tested it, I, I literally, I couldn't thank Mr. Oren enough. I mean, he could tell you, I was, I was sending him messages every day, like, look, man, I just entered a trade off that strategy, and I just made money. You know, this is something, this is something, guys, you need to be grateful for, because you know what? I don't care who your upline is, okay? I don't care who your upline is. Nobody is doing what these guys are doing right here. There, yeah. Nobody is putting in the time and the effort and giving you what works and what doesn't work at the end of the day. So, guys, take advantage of what we right. got here. Regardless if you're – I don't care if you signed up today, guys. Guess what? You're still at the same le level as all of us because we're all here to grow. We're all here as one team, one dream. Nobody here is is, is the millionaire trader. Nobody oh. here has the, the best entries. It's not about that. It's about helping the next person master the skill set. Because trust me, guys, I've seen people that have nothing – go from something just because of Forex. So, right. like I said again, I, I want to thank everybody that hopped on this webinar. Christian, bro, I love you, bro. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Uh, seeing you. you grow every single day since I've met you, bro, it's it's a, it's a blessing, bro. Uh, and Mr. Oren Wright, man, I, like I said, I can't thank you enough, man. <laughs> and uh, I'll be in New York next month for sure. That's hey. right. Hey, Christian, we're going to close it out with this. Um, for everyone that's still on here, I want to thank all of you for being on here. Like I said, we went from 34 members over two hours ago. Like, come on. That's, that's truly a blessing, man. But anyway, Christian, yeah. we're going to close it out with this. We gave out at the beginning of the week because we try to host our webinars. Um, what we want to do... The screen isn't sharing. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, I'm, I'm on the home screen. Hold on. All right, so what we're going to do now is for everyone that was on our webinar on Monday and Tuesday... It's time to present your homework. <laughs> That's right. How did mine look? How did mine look? I sent it over to, uh, I think Christian looked at it. Well, no, 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 no. Share your screen. <laughs> Share my screen. That's right. <laughs> on the chart now. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Open up that chart because, guys. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, let's, let's finish. All right, let me. Stuff. Okay, I, I can pull it up. No documents uh, right here. So what we what we do, guys, on all of our webinars, because we can tell you everything that you need to do, but we'd rather give you homework so then next time we meet up, you can show us what you learned. So, Roger, you ready? Yes. Uh, yeah, how I share my... Hit that share. How I share the screen. Hit that green share button at the bottom. Green share at the bottom. Um, 
They're going to minimize our chat. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, share screen. It. Yeah, there you yeah, go. I got it right there. Okay, right here. All right, so the rules to the homework is to mark up your charts, okay, using the one-hour time frame. Oh, I love it. I love the fact that you put some words in there. So I want you to explain. You did a five-day chart, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I figured I was more of a... <coughs> All right, so now explain what you found. See, what I did... Well, first I found my support and resistance, which I have it marked with the blue dash lines right here. I went to the, to the highest high, and I went to the... The lowest low right through here and um well i did i used the fibonacci i went from the highest high i went out to the the lowest low right here and i lined it up okay um roger let me stop you right there you see okay. where you drew that first fib yes first fib. i was saying draw it the way we was drawing it from the when before it broke out so the low on the left side, the left corner of your screen, there's a low. You draw your fit from that low to that high, you're mm -hmm. probably going to get a 618 bounce. Mm -hmm. bounce. You, you did it from the high to the low. Do it from the low back towards that because you have that breakout. Those green candles are right here, yeah, right there in your mouse. You have that breakout. So you want to do it right before it broke out. The consolidation draw, you draw a fit from the low to the high. So from left to right, I uh, know you draw it from, from, from right. From where it made that high and started going down. So from right to left, from that high towards that low, you're going to get a bounce. All right. Um, um, so you have it on a screenshot. Go to your uh, trading view. My trading view? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but actually your homework was supposed to be done on a one-hour time frame. Oh, see, so yeah. I messed up there. That's right. The one-hour time frame, okay, Um we got what two more seconds. All right, stop sharing it for a minute. I'm gonna have okay. to give you your homework all over again. Okay. All right, so for everyone that's on here, is there anyone on here that did it on the one hour time frame? How do I get that? No, I got it. Okay, you got it. Okay. All right, is there any anyone that did it on the one hour time frame? Their homework. Okay, here we go. This is the homework. For next week or you know it's due during um our next webinar you're going to go to the one hour time frame of any chart of your choice you're going to use the period separators all right control y all right the one hour time frame of any chart of your choice you can go as far as back as you want or anywhere on the chart the next thing you're going to do okay the next thing you're going to do is, let's just go um, right around, let's go to the current market. We know that this day is Friday. So what you're going to do is you're going to just write on your chart, Friday. All right, this is your homework, Friday. Thursday. And there's a method to doing this. Is it, you know, it's a reason for doing this right here. You know, as Christian broke it down to you earlier, what the market does during the open, you know, they, they find that high, they find that low. Okay, so you're gonna find Wednesday. Okay, then you're gonna find Tuesday. Okay, now remember, Sunday and Monday is the same day. Sunday and Monday is the same day. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take this trend line and you're gonna mark the high of Sunday and Monday. Okay, hold control and double click to copy that line. And then you're gonna find the low of Sunday and Monday. Okay, copy it. All right, next you're going to find the low of Tuesday, the high of Tuesday, the high of Wednesday, the low of Wednesday, the low of Thursday, the high of Thursday, the low of Friday, 
and the high of Friday. Trust me when I tell you, you're going to figure out what happened this week. You're going to figure out what the market was doing on Monday, what the market did on Tuesday, what the market did on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So when you come back to the, to the webinar, you're going to tell us what you found, whether you found that, okay, yeah, I see that the market on Monday created a high. Tuesday broke the high of Monday, consolidated between Tuesday and Wednesday. It reached, it did a 50% uh, a breakout on Thursday. This is a 50% breakout on Thursday. If you draw your fears from Tuesday, look at that. If you draw your fears from Tuesday, what you got? So look at this. On Tuesday, you got a 50% breakout. On Thursday, the market went back up came back down, retest the high of Wednesday, and then shot back up. So that's what we're looking for. Guys, can you imagine if you do this every single day, you go as far, far as you want. <coughs> Look how simple this is. You know, mark up your chart, and I guarantee you, you're gonna say, oh snap, I see what the market is doing. I see the levels that the market is creating. You say use hold. You did hold. You did hold control. Why to copy them lines like that? Um, you're gonna do hold. You're gonna hold control, right? Hold control down control. and just right. double click. Double click it. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> and that's how you copy it. And how far back you recommend us to do that? Oh, you go as far as you want. Just make sure that the days of the week line up. So if you go as far back like here, you need to make sure that this day is on a Monday. Okay. Guys, go back. Listen, you there's this people that have gone back on a pair five years back. Just go back until you get it. Just study one pair and just go back till you master that pair. And, yep. and when you see the patterns over and over and over again, you be like, ah, I got this. Next time is gonna I, the next time you see the pattern, be like, I remember seeing this last month. I remember seeing this last week. It's going to do this. You're already anticipating it because you know what the market's been doing on your homework. You went back on that pair, passed and passed. You back tested. You saw what it did. You draw your fib. You draw your support resistance. You see the wakes. You see maybe if you see a, an over impulsive move, look on Forex Factory or whatever news and look on that hour. What happened? And you could, there's your answer. You're going to see, oh, damn, news came out. Look, push the market 100 pips in five minutes. That's right. You're going to see confluences. You're going to see the patterns form up every day. You're going to see the same thing. You go back, you're going to see the same single pattern every single time. On any pair, you're going to see a pattern. And that's all we trade is patterns. Trading is simple. People that's make it right. difficult. It's simple. It's 90% mental, 10% skills. We got 10% skills to look at a pattern, identify it. It's all we got to do, identify it, then take it. That's it. We trade with no fear because we don't, we can't move the market. So why are we, why are we getting so emotionally attached to the trade, to the, you know, we lose money. We can't move the market. We just see a pattern and that gives us that 90% edge with right. confluences, with everything. We get the edge because you got to think of it. When you gamble, you're already, when you gamble, you know, you put, you put, let's say if you take a slot machine, you put 25 cents in a slot machine. You already predetermined your risk. You, you're risking 25 cents to come out, whatever. You already put your risk. And here, Forex, you predetermine your risk as well. So put a nice stop loss, determine how, how many, uh, what's your risk. You predetermine that. So there's, you, when you do that on the slot machine, you don't care about the 25 cents. You've given it away already. So here we're doing the same thing, but you got an edge because you're not identifying the pattern. It's not it's not gamble anymore. You got an edge. You got confluences. You're investing. You know what you're doing. You you see the patterns, identifying. You've done the homework for months, for weeks past, for for years past. You do it, and that's it. That's how you become a better trader. Now do that for master three pairs. That's your new. Just master three pairs that you like. You know, that, that's not, you know, G, I want to say GJ, because GJ is very volatile. But master, like, you know, you could do a slow pair, EU, AU, uh, UJ, you know, master those pairs and you're never going to trade another pair. You're going to just be so loyal to that pair because you're going to know everything about it. You don't want to trade nothing else because that pair pays you. You're going to get paid every single day when you see a pattern from that 
from that specific pair? Chris, I'm going to leave everyone with a treat for being on tonight. Okay? All right, guys. I'm going to leave you with um, the strategies. Okay? Um, I, trade, I create strategies every single week. <laughs> I create a new strategy every single week. Because anytime somebody calls me or texts me or inbox me saying, Oren, I just can't get it. I, I've been trying. I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, and I still can't get it. That motivates me to create a new strategy to make it easier for you. So here's my, this is not my latest strategy, but this is one of my favorite strategies that I created. Now, I didn't get this from YouTube. I didn't get this from anybody. I created a strategy because, again, my back was up against the wall and I was tired of losing and I just st stared at the cross over and over and over and over. All right, so here we go. Guys, check this out. I'm always going to show you not what happened, you know, not the current market, boom, 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 whatever. Perfect. Go right here. So we know that the market created a support zone. Boom, market came down to this level, came down to this level again. It didn't touch it, and it finally hit it right here. All right, cool. So we know that the market is going up. This is called my fractal slash box trade strategy, and it works. I catch hundreds. I caught GCAD over 450 pips this week. Wow, I just held a trade for a long time. You hear that? 450 pips on one pair. On one pair. <laughs> one pair, bro. Come so, on. So check this out. Um, the market came down. Guys, what I'm looking for now, this is my low right here. This is the lowest candle. If you don't know that this is the low, I want you to go to insert, indicators, trend, no, indicators, Bill Williams, fractals. Okay? Notice how this market shows me that this is the lowest low. It puts a fractal at the bottom. So all I'm looking for is the low, the lowest low. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look to my right, one, two. In order to create the lowest low, we need to see two candles to the right, which is higher, and two candles to the left, which is higher. Trust me, it's going to blow your mind. This strategy is so simple. Find your lowest low, look to the right, boom, you got two lower, two higher candles. Look to the left. Use the candles, use the candles that's highest, okay? Not the ones here because these are higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pending order right here. All right? So what I'm waiting for, I want to see the market break out of this zone here. Once the market breaks out of this zone, I'm going to put a sell limit right here. Now, you're probably saying, where's your take profit going to be at? I'm going to draw a box the size of this range because this is a range now. I'm going to draw a box the size of this range. Then I'm going to extend this box. I know it seemed like a lot of work, but hey, if you want to get rid of the stress in trading and something simple, I'm just going to extend this box all the way over. So we're going to start over. Found my lowest low. Look to the right. Found two candles to the right that's higher. Look to the left, found two candles that's highest. And I'm gonna use this. Wait for the market to break out and then retest with the pending order. Our take profit is gonna be the height of this box. So I'm just gonna copy this box here and we copy it the same way. Okay, copy this box the same way. All right, instead of copying the box, I'll just take the box with me. All right, they don't want me to take the box, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new box. And this is going to be my take profit. All right, there we go. Put this box right above this line here. Okay, and now I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it out. I'm going to stretch it out and put 2018. Boom. Go ahead and change the color. We'll make it uh, yellow. Perfect. Okay. So my take profit is going to be at the top of the box. 
Guys, if you look to the left, you can see that this is resistance right here. Okay? You can clearly see that that's resistance right there. All right, we're on a one-hour time frame. So my take profit is going to be at the top of this box. Find the low, look to the right, you have two highs. Look to the left, you have two highs. Go with the highest one. We wait for the market to break out. So as we move the market forward, boom, we got a big bullish move already. Most of you would have been like, yo, enter the trade now. Don't enter the trade because I told you what's going to happen. When the market breaks out of the zone, it's going to come back 50%. See this large candle right here? The one that broke out? I tell you, I studied the market so much, I almost predict everything that happens. Okay? Study the market so much, they're going to give you 50% of your loss right now. So don't just wait for it to come back to you. So then the market keeps moving. Boom. One. Remember, breakout, retest. Into the trade. Drawdown was what? 18 pip drawdown. 18 pip drawdown. Well, the market hit the top of the box. For 73 pips. Will Jenkins, can you hear me? Wow. Will Jenkins. Yeah, I can hear you. Would it be okay if you just made 73 pips off of that trade? Uh, most definitely. Well, do you see that what pattern do we have here? Uh, now, what about now? Inverted head and shoulder. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, take the market all the way up. And as Christian would say, what would you say, Christian? <laughs> it's the low you buy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I want to thank all of you for jumping on today, man. This was this was definitely, you know, I want to give a shout out to Christian, uh, you know, because like I said, man, you could have been anywhere tonight. You know, let's do this. I can't wait until the ne till next Friday. Welcome to another episode of Market <laughs> Recap with Christian Bautista and Oren Wright. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget this recording, this webinar has been recorded. So if you need a copy, just hit me up. We got you. All right. I'm I appreciate it. Thank you. Perfect. Guys, you're free to go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome.